Are your games lagging and your FPS dropping like crazy? What if I told you the problem isn't your GPU, but Windows holding it back? Today, we're diving into hidden tweaks and settings that unlock your GPU's full power. With the right changes, you can crush stutters, boost FPS, and make your games run smoother. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips that actually improve your gaming performance. Let's dive in. So guys, one of the most effective fixes to remove a GPU bottleneck starts with a hidden Windows registry tweak. This fix can make a noticeable difference in solving low FPS caused by GPU underutilization. <clears throat> Begin by typing Registry Editor in the Windows search bar, then right-click it and select Run as Administrator. After it opens, navigate to the exact registry path provided in the video description. To save time and avoid mistakes, simply copy the full path and paste it into the address bar at the top of Registry Editor. Then press Enter to jump directly to the correct location. Once you are there, look at the right panel. Right-click on any empty space, choose New, then select DWORD 32-bit value. Name this new value HWSCH mode. Now, double-click on it, set the value data to 2, and press OK. This forces hardware-accelerated GPU scheduling to turn on at the system level, even on PCs where Windows does not show the option inside graphics settings. Many gamers miss this step because the toggle is often hidden, especially on older GPUs or budget cards. Enabling it shifts more responsibility to the GPU, reducing CPU overhead, improving frame pacing, and allowing the graphics card to boost higher and maintain more stable usage. All right guys, another important step to fix low GPU usage is disabling power throttling. This Windows feature is designed to save power, but during gaming, it can aggressively limit performance, causing GPU usage to stay low and frames to suffer. To start, press Windows key plus R, type gpedit.msc and press enter. This will open the local group policy editor. Note that this option is available on Windows Pro and higher editions. Inside group policy editor, navigate to computer configuration, then administrative templates, then system, and finally open power throttling. On the right side, find the policy named turn off power throttling and double click it. Set this policy to enabled, then click apply and okay. By enabling this option, you are actually disabling Windows power throttling behavior system wide, ensuring that games and GPU intensive applications are no longer restricted in the background. Disabling power throttling is crucial when dealing with the GPU bottleneck and low FPS problem. If you are serious about fixing low GPU usage killing your FPS, this step should not be skipped. Now guys, another effective step is disabling a background service that often creates unnecessary CPU load and indirectly causes a GPU bottleneck. During gaming, it can constantly use CPU, disk, and memory in the background. To disable it, open the Windows search bar and type Services then open it. In the Services window, scroll down and locate SysMain. Double-click on it to open its properties. Click the Stop button to immediately stop the service, then change the startup type to Disabled, and click Apply followed by OK. Why does this matter for low GPU usage and FPS? SysMain preloads data into RAM, which can raise CPU and disk usage during gaming, especially on slower drives. This creates a CPU bottleneck, causing low GPU usage. Disabling SysMain frees resources, improves GPU workload delivery, reduces stutters, and stabilizes FPS. Now guys, if you're struggling with lag or high ping in your games, Gear Up Booster is the ultimate fix. Here's how it works. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game it will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. 
Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gera Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Alright guys, the next step is forcing high performance mode for specific games through Windows settings. By default, Windows often balances power to save energy, which can throttle your CPU and GPU during gameplay, keeping GPU usage lower than it should be. Start by pressing Windows key plus I to open settings. Then go to System, Display, Graphics. Here, you can add individual games by clicking Browse and selecting the game's executable file .exe. Once added, click on the game, choose Options, and then select High Performance. Finally, click Save to apply the change. Why this helps. In balanced or power saver modes, Windows may limit CPU and GPU speeds, keeping the GPU underutilized. High Performance mode prioritizes the game, letting the GPU run fully reducing bottlenecks, boosting frame rates, and ensuring smoother gameplay. Now guys, let's dive into optimizing your GPU through its control panel, which is a key step in fixing low GPU usage, killing FPS. I'm using the NVIDIA control panel as an example, but similar settings exist in AMD Radeon and Intel Graphics Command Center, so you can follow along regardless of your GPU brand. Start by opening the NVIDIA control panel. In the left menu, click on Manage 3D Settings. This section governs how your GPU behaves during gameplay and directly impacts performance. Begin under the Global Settings tab. First, scroll to Power Management Mode. By default, Windows often sets this to Adaptive or Optimal Power, which allows the GPU to downclock whenever Windows thinks full performance isn't needed. This can lock usage at half capacity, even during demanding scenes. Change it to Prefer Maximum Performance to ensure your GPU stays at peak clocks whenever a game is running. Next, find Low Latency Mode and set it to Ultra. If left off or at normal, the CPU can queue too many frames, causing the GPU to wait and reducing usage. Ultra minimizes the queue, feeding frames faster to the GPU and boosting workload. Then, locate Vertical Sync (VSync) and turn it off. VSync caps the GPU output to match your monitor refresh rate, which can make usage appear artificially low. Disabling it allows the GPU to render frames as fast as it can, maximizing utilization. Finally, scroll to Threaded Optimization and set it to On. This enables the driver to use multiple CPU threads for communication with the GPU. If disabled, data delivery slows, limiting GPU workload and potentially causing stutters. With it on, the GPU receives data efficiently, keeping usage high. After making these changes, click Apply. With these adjustments, you remove artificial restrictions on your GPU. It will stay active, reach higher utilization, deliver smoother gameplay, and significantly reduce FPS drops caused by underused graphics power. And that's it. Apply these tweaks and watch your GPU finally reach its full potential for smoother, higher FPS gaming. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss a performance boosting tip.